All right, welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Jund Monsters. This is another donation deck, and we have three donation decks on the day today. Uh, on the day today? During the day today? Whatever the correct preposition that I should be using there. Anyway, we're playing three donation decks today, as you can see. So looks like it'll be a fun de day, and then we're going to play some Esper Legends in the ranked queues later on so our first one here is uh, one that i'm calling jund monsters this is really an ilrog deck we're trying to get ilrog out uh you know really quickly and have ilrog be able to put in all sorts of sweet creatures we get to play tetsamok which that's awesome this is a creature that I haven't played nearly enough uh in its time in standard it is really powerful for what it gets to do you know if you get some prey counters on some different creatures tetsamok can really change the shape of a game we also get palaco arms which are just awesome against uh like you know just any kind of aggro deck just gaining seven life and you know putting it in with an ilrog as a seven seven trampler attacker plus you gain seven life like that's that's got to be incredible so we get one of those uh we got some removal with troops uh, null hide as we we played yesterday selesnia titans deck and null hide was really impressive there and that's kind of what we have. We have here, again, another uh, deck where uh, we got some Null Hides in here, which has just been a really impressive card uh, in this format with a lot of discard stuff and not a lot of ways to kill this really big 6-6 six, six, um, kind of semi-hexproof creature. It's just, it's just so big. It's a great card. Our spells that we're playing with Domri, Rhythm of the Wild, and then Collision, Find, and Trophy are all ones that, like, let's say you play this with your four mana. The next turn you have five mana. You can pay two to be able to get rid of the Null Hide ability, and then you would be able to cast any spell, any of those spells, like, if, if you need to play any of them. Um, but, yeah, that's what we got. I think Colossus works really well with Null Hide Ferox. Like, if they, like, one of the best ways to get rid of Null Hide is, like, to block it with a bunch of creatures and if you just have like a colossus plus you give it trample also or if they're just chump blocking your high ferox give it trample that sounds like something that we want to be doing uh but yeah we got just kind of a bunch of crazy stuff in here we got some massacre girls which could be pretty interesting with illrog to put in and everything some carnage tyrants in the board uh, i'm not sold on these elder spells kind of think that we should maybe have like some duresses instead but we'll see how it goes there we go, it's our deck. All right, John Monsters. Traditional Constructed. So I like to play the donation decks, play them until we win five or lose two. You haven't seen Tetsamog played at all yet? Ooh, it is good. Where's Kiora? I don't know. Yeah, no, this is a this is a donation deck, so yeah, uh, Kiora and Ravager Worm, those could be some good options for sure in this kind of deck. Uh, I changed the basics in these donation decks to have the War of the Spark basics. We hadn't really been using those. They look pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about that. Sulfur Falls. Do I want to shock myself for two to attack for one? Not really, but we'll see. This is a cool website that I that I found that somebody sent me. That's like a really easy way to change basics. The link didn't work. Hmm. You just like, uh, let's see, let me put the link, let me see if this will work as far as the link goes. There we go. Okay, you just uh, copy the you just import the deck on there and down at the bottom you just click you know click on the different lands of like you know click until you find the one you want 
and then and then you just you know recopy your export and then you can export that to arena it just changes it So definitely thinking my opponent has a cast down. Hey, what's up, Blitz Batman? Thanks for being the first sub of the day and getting lots of high puts in the chat there. Thanks, Blitz. of sanity. Um, I don't want to cast it. How do I... I want to make sure I don't actually cast it. Alright, I guess there's no way to... To actually do it. Hey, Adrock with the tier one sub as well. Welcome, Adrock. I'm doing really good, Adrock. Hope you are also. Yeah, it's a pretty big chupacabra right there. It's a pretty big and scary chupacabra. I'm going to let them draw first. So they get another chance to draw another basic that they could have. <clears throat> ah, they did not have another basic. Got team. Ooh. Plus four, plus two. Seven damage. Six life. Good game. That's a good card to draw. All right, so we're playing against Grixis stuff. Hmm. I think I want Carnish Tyrant over Palaka Worm. Okay, okay. Um, what else? Uh, is that it? Is that all I want to do? I guess Ripjaw Raptor isn't so great here with them just using a bunch of removal spells. But still not bad. Well, Chup Chupacabra gets to kill Bolas too. Chupacabra doesn't. Oh, I guess it doesn't kill the Planeswalker Bolas. That's true. I'm not super worried about Planeswalker Bolas. I, I definitely want the Choops for their Bolas creature and Thieves Sanity. I could see taking out Ripjaw Raptor for a trophy. I could see that. I kind of like that. And... Do I want, like, this Vivian instead of the other Ripjaw Raptor? Probably. Alright, and call that a day. 
Do I want you also another Riptar Raptor? How many creatures do I got now? 25? Ugh. Yeah, I guess so. All right, we're down to 24. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Triple Rhythm of the Wild. We only have green black mana or green red mana. Ugh, nothing in between. Okay, never mind. We got something in between. We good. Hey, thanks, James. Yeah, weather is getting better. Woo! Man. If only I had. A Ferox. If only I would have kept the first hand. It's a risky card to play. I really considered like keeping Spellbreaker so I can use Find <laughs> I've seen puppies whine to get it back. Uh, plus, like, the next creature that dies, but I want to be a little more aggressive than that. I have the wrong deck up on on my deckless command, don't I? Looks like it. Alright, one second. Trying to fix... All right, should be fixed. All things begin and end in nature. Yeah, that means it's a donation deck. Didn't want to do that first. Pretty bad if they have a removal spell for, for Il Rog and get to kill my Vivian also. That would be unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. We'll put it back in the library. Certainly just considering just minus twoing Vivian and letting Vivian die no matter what, just to get another 
hard Let's and then again. flashing an Ilrog in response to the Bolas attack. Skinny fat man. Welcome back. Thanks for that resub there. Oh, I'm certainly enjoying War of the Spark. Standard. Yeah, this standard is a lot of fun. And we are just getting into it. You know, like there are still so many things to be doing in the standard format that we haven't gotten to yet. Hey, Blind is back as well. My genius is a match. War of the Planeswalkers. All right, fourth sub of the day. Is that blind? Have an I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. Hostage Shaker, Liliana. Those are not cards I want to see. Hmm. Simic Nexus? What? I'm going to take out that Domri and play a Lava Coil instead. Yeah, I guess I needed to just keep... Should have just kept the first hand of just Triple Rhythm of the Wild, Null Hide. And get that null hide into play. Ugh, this hand's so close to being really good. Mulligan against Grixis is so rough, though, with how many two for ones they play. Come on. All right, this is a little rough. Let's see if we draw this land here. Pretty tough going to five against against Grixis. Really is. Hmm. Well hopefully hopefully disinformation campaign here. Playing the next turn was Thief. I don't know why they didn't take Collision. It's like the only card I could play in my hand, and it killed Thief. Attack! Go, Null Hide, go! No hide, no hide, no hide. <laughs> Our fun with the oops. Oops.
Draw another null hide here. Get a hasty null hide. So basically, I, I didn't really want to just trophy their Nicol Bolas here to get the seven points in because they could have like a Liliana. I don't want to give them another land. And plus, it does make them a lot easier to target this thing with that extra land also. All right, basically any creature, any creature with haste will be great. Uh, not quite yet. They're so close to dying. Can we get there? They're so close to dying. Spellbreaker! Haste. 1-1 one, one counter. Alright. Mold of 5 worked. Null Hide Ferox was the reason. I think our opponent took the wrong card with their Thought Erasure. Because they had Thought Erasure, then they had Thief Bolas, and they did not take... Like, maybe they were thinking, like, Colossus was just Colossus and forgot about Collision. But they really should have taken the Collision. Uh, I th think it lets you pick Haste twice. I think. I guess I'd, I don't know. I, I did see how, like, the second time the Haste was kind of uh, faded out. Like, they didn't want you to choose it. But, I, I mean... You are allowed to choose haste multiple times on multiple riots. All right, question is, I tend to play creature non-reactive decks a lot and want to learn more about control and interactive decks. Do you have a suggestion for a fun, decent deck in the format? I've been thinking Grixis Control. I have a decent collection, decent amount of wild cards. This should be fun. Can only do that during my turn. But not sure I can handle a, a full three color mana base. So need to either cut some rares, your guild gates, or whatever. Hmm. Maybe the Dreadhorde control deck. Yeah, I think you could probably check out the Dreadhorde control deck, because that's two color. Yeah, you know, the one that we played before. I'm I'm high on that deck. I think it is it is strong and everything, and uh, it. it I mean, I I don't think it's like any worse than Grixis, and you get to go two color. So maybe check out that deck. as genius does. Well, what was the point of that? They already had four damage against Omri. I was just minusing the Sahili for we nothing. We will rise again. Illrock Chupacabra is a really nice combo.
Um, I have no, you know, no dream that that Phoenix is not coming back here. Like, it's certainly going to come back, but I don't have anything else better to do. These fine finalities aren't really doing anything. You know, Palaka and Illarog, obviously we can't cast those. I'm most likely going to have to use a finality part of one of these fine finalities. All these 1-1s. One Hopefully we keep drawing lands. Ugh, really wanted to play that raise board this next turn. I already have lots of mana. All right, cool. Sounds good. All right. Guessing they got a a spell here to play with this last mana. Do I have your attention now? No, oh, maybe not. unfortunate with these electrostatic fields the rhythm while it's not like a, a land it still wasn't like that bad of a draw because if we would have drawn one more land we, we would have been able to attack with the Ilrog and put Palaka Worm into play and gain the seven life but obviously we're very dead now hey what's up DJ Polly B all right let's get these cry the carnariums Massacre Girls, Lava Coils, got to exile those Phoenixes for good. I don't really want Trophy, um, don't want Domri. Vivian's a, Vivian's not bad can, by giving something Vigilance if we need to be doing that. Hmm. The problem with Fine Finality is it's not good until, like, really, really late. But, like, same thing with, like, these other things. It's a, I guess if I'm bringing in Massacre Girl, I'm just taking out Tetsamok. I think that's that's my replacement there. I don't think I really... Because, like, Tetsamok kills, like, singular things. Massacre Girl kills a bunch of things. I don't know, like, how much they're actually playing drakes and stuff. They probably are playing some, but I don't know if we really need canopies also on top of having Lava Coil and, and Collision because we don't really want to be using Canopy on Phoenix, and we saw all, all the other stuff they played there. I got one find. Um... And then maybe just cutting the two Dom Rays because they're easy to attack, as we saw that game. 
I don't know if they're playing Drake since they have electrostatic field and stuff. I don't know. Uh, very possibly, but I don't know. Alright, this looks pretty good. Yeah, Dom Maria's ramp, but if it just dies immediately whenever we play it like it did last game. What's the point? We didn't, we can't really protect it against Phoenixes. Oh, don't you counter this. Okay. Attack. This Cry the Canary and Masker Girl cards look kind of silly in my hand right about now. But also, we have cards on the battlefield our opponent doesn't, so can't complain too much. No, Raptor only gets triggered whenever Raptor takes damage. Like from something like Lava Coil there. Masker Girl does not trigger Raptor at the minus one, minus one. Alright, draw two. Jeez. Hey, doing great today, Zerf. How you doing? This will be devilishly fun. Uh. That's a really annoying card. The more, the messier. All right, we're doing it. Let's go rhythm of the wild. Let them play another, get another one one and play here. I adore an audience. Hmm. All right, we'll clean up the battlefield. I don't care to attack the Tabalt at one loyalty. It doesn't really do anything. I'm not trying to gain life. It doesn't do anything. Let's just hit hard up here. Put them down to six where we got the Null Hide. Also. Play nice, they said. <laughs> and they just didn't even activate. I mean, even if they did activate, they were just dead there. Many different ways they were dead, including that card we just played. See, this doesn't really seem like a a Drake deck. Doesn't really seem like it. I think we have a pretty good sideboard here. GG. All right, game three. Like it. Got good mana. We don't have the second black yet, but that's all right. Ooh, I'll take that one. 
Please don't kill the Lana War Elf. Got the war basics. No. That'll slow us down. I think I'd still want Palaka Worm, even though they have shown it to Bolt. I don't think that's something I really want to change. Don't do it, don't do it. Land. Discard land. Alright, good. It's not discarding a phoenix. Oh, they had two phoenixes? them to play some one toughness creature. We need them to play like a Sahili there. So this Masker Girl can actually do something. Two Phoenixes in the first 12 cards. Yeah, that's that's pretty rough. Ugh. today just gonna be our day Is today just gonna be our day I was setting that turn up, turn up. Always had that card. Always had that card. What would you risk? <laughs> Certainly. Ral goes to six loyalty. Null hide Ferox attacks for six. Just the most convenient. <laughs> I'm shocked to discover I lost. And now if they have a bunch of two toughness things, we could put Masker Girl into play off Null, off of Ilrog, and then second main. Oh no, it only re it returns to us at end. Whoops. When does it return to us? At end step. Okay, so no, it doesn't go back to our hand and then us cast it again. I don't even think I put this third from the owner's top. Like I think by that time, it's that card's not going to really matter. So I this costs five mana because of null hide. So I cannot play cry plus spellbreaker. Um, if I just play if I play spellbreaker and give it haste, uh, they chump lock the ferox, take seven, go to one. Or I it's either that or I cast cry the carnarium, get rid of this, goes minus two on both of these, uh, attack. Uh, then I get to attack for six and put them to two, and the phoenix is gone, and I still have the spellbreaker haste. Those are the only 
those are my two options there. I think that the best play is to do the Cry of the Carnarium. Because if if we go Spellbreaker and put them down to one, either, you know, we're putting them to one or two, they we could lose. I think this is the way that we don't lose. Because if they, if they just draw... Um, they haven't yet. If they have like the the one card that's like, oh gosh, put us down to one there. GG. If they had radical idea, if like they have radical idea, and then cast radical idea again with the flashback, and then the second time they hit shock, and then shock us, then they get their three two back, and can kill us with the three two. But with the cry the carnarium, I don't think they were. You know, it gets exiled and it's gone for good. Yeah, so they would block with the Spellbreaker and it would die um, going that route. But then it, it's Radical Idea basically gets to bring it back for free. So that, that's what I'm saying. If it was in their graveyard, they could they could bring it back with... We could have, di we could have died to Radical Idea plus Shock if we went Spellbreaker. Well, one card in hand plus the, the card they draw... And then they get to see a lot more cards with Radical Idea. They could see two more cards. So they would have had four, you know, if, if one of their top, if one of the, like either the card they had in hand or the next card was Radical Idea. And then if one of the other three cards was a shock, we would have lost going Spellbreaker. It's obviously that's not a great chance that they have that, but it's it's a scenario that we could could have lost in. It's a realistic scenario. Or just, yeah, it didn't even have to be a radical idea. Could have just been, you know, like a discovery or chart a course or anything like that that found another draw spell. Like any draw spell that finds another draw spell that finds a shock. That's all they need. Hmm. Hero of Precinct 1, eh? I think against Hero of Precinct 1, I want this to be a 4 4, not just a. Not just a 3-3 attack. Yeah, or if they would have just had Finale. The red Finale, because they had a shock in the graveyard. What? Can't attack, block, or activate abilities. Can't do nothing. Our deck has tons of big things to put in with Illarog. Let's see if we draw one. Lame. isn't going so good for us so far. Not going so good at all. Good thing we have the sideboard Masker Girls and Cry Carnariums and stuff like that. Honor <laughs> and courage. All right, we'll take we'll take the game one loss again. Yeah, we're we're saving our good draws. Just used a bunch last game. Got to save them again. Hmm. 
Maybe I don't want null hide. Um, I haven't, I haven't really decided when to, too much to bring in Domri yet. I don't know. And the obvious answer is Planeswalkers are good against removal heavy decks. That's the obvious answer. This one's not, not always the best in those scenarios. I can see like a, a Vivian being a lot better. I like Tatsumak here. They got important creatures to kill. I'm not sure if I love Null Hide. That's yeah, Null Hide. It's got to be pretty good. Maybe I can cut an incubation druid. No. Man, Tet Tetsamok Ilrog is that's a combo. That is a combo. See, like, this turn, like, you know, we put prey counters on stuff and then attack. Lame. Why couldn't they just put played creatures for me to put prey counters on with with my Tetsamok? And then put it in with Ilrog. And put it put it back in my hand. I don't have the... Second Black Mana Source with the Incubation Druid leaving right now for Tetsamok, but still worth it just to put a Prey Counter on this thing. <laughs> yeah, it is, Seawookies. You can find it there in the... I have it up on the stream decker. You can see out you can uh, find out more about what's all in the Grixis League deck. One looks pretty interesting for sure. I'm not sure if I want to play Domri into a counter spell. They're just like sitting on counter spell. Just go to attacks first and then just kind of see what happens. I mean, ob the obvious thing is like with Domri pumping up my creatures, it's better to play it first kind of thing, but.
Yeah, that enchantment's hurting us. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now and then. Bustin' heads is my bread and butter. And obviously we could have fought with Domri, uh, but we can fight something bigger than that 1-3 with the Ilrog. All right, take care, Matthew. Good luck. Yeah, if we could, if they would have something that could kill this Ilrog, that would be kind of nice. If we could have the Domri be able to fight Ilrog, and you know, if they play like their own six six or whatever, and get this Law Mage's binding off of it. Just one cry of the Carnarium? No, I'll play the two. While Crushing Canopy does kill that enchantment, it's that's gotta be just gotta be too narrow, right? Like I can't imagine there's very many things in the deck that Crushing Canopy actually kills. And just a, a good chance they don't draw those things. Of course, there obviously is the chance they draw them again. And then uh, we'll feel bad, but it can't actually kill too many things. This hand has some good potential, but can also do nothing. Thanks, Shekel Shekel. We've been in a lot of close game threes so far with this deck. They kept their seven also. They're in their main phase right now. So it's not they're not determining whether to mulligan or not. They they kept their hand, then I kept their hand. It's their turn one right now. Wasn't the ideal first draw. Like a woodland cemetery. Uh, Snobbing ground will work. Ooh. If you think I'm crazy, I will well, see my mate. They kept a two lander as well, but did not decide to play their third land. Now they do. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. Just 
Stop. Cry the Canarium, why are you terrible? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it was very good against the Phoenixes. Why does Deputy have to be a 1-3? Everybody knows that should be a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> I don't think this deck actually has any Cinder Vines in it. Mystic is so good. I could use two black sources, so I could cast double cry of the carnarium. That'd be nice. These deputy of detentions are just crushing me. Still have a chance here. Yeah, how are you sending... How are you sending monsters to jail? Right? Like, they're too big for jail. Oh, come on. More removal? I don't like deputy detention. I don't like that card. I don't like that card one bit right now. What do I think is the strongest deck right now? Um, I like Sultai myself. I know Sultai is not very popular with a lot of people, but... Hey, thank you so much. No hiccup. Um, all right, I'll get you the next one. Bant is getting really popular the last few days. Like everybody's talking about Bant mid range and everything. And I think that's another really good. And you see our opponents, or our last opponent's playing a band deck, but there's a lot of band decks running around, and that's really good for Sultai. I think the reason, a good reason why band is popular is because of Sultai not being around so much. I think Sultai is good against Bant. I think just uh, Hostage Taker, find finality. Pretty good there. Unfortunately, the Incubation Druid can't add black on its own.
Hey, what's up, Rex? That one. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. I'll protect you. We changed a few things with the to help with the lag. Um, I'm uh, I have a difference. Yeah, like I'm using a server here in the same state that I'm at instead of like a server in China to upload the stream. I didn't realize I didn't realize I was doing that, and also changed some stuff with the graphics. Uh, that's helped as well. The lag issues aren't completely resolved, but they are, have been cut down quite a bit. Um, I think the rest of the issues, from what I can tell, are PC-related. Uh, maybe needing a new PC or some kind of more like processing power or something. This isn't a fight you can win. Here goes nothing. You need to slow down. Skip to the good part. It's gonna be tough to win. Could really use a rhythm of the wild. Black mana. I think with black mana, are we on finality? The finality part of our life yet? No, we're just casting Ilrog again next turn. Well, thank you for not killing my incubation during last turn. Quickly. That's more like it. I 
did not start this fight, but I will, f the weak, feed the strong. Just need black mana. Cast finality. Oh, that's true. The Ferox is not allowing me to cast finality, is it? <laughs> what a mess I yep. made. Yep. That's a problem. I haven't had black mana the whole the whole game here, Sloth. Definitely need lava coils. Masker girl seems pretty nice. Hmm. I want to change a bunch of stuff. I don't think I want these Feroxes. Let's get those out of here. I mean, I guess if I have Elder Spell in my deck, this is like why Elder Spell's in my deck, I guess. It's just so many spells. It's 26 creatures right now. Yeah, I could certainly add Cry the Carnarium too. I'm kind of hoping the Masker Girl can do Cry the Carnarium's job. Elder Spell is just going to be really difficult to cast, as we've seen. We didn't even, didn't even have a single black mana that whole game. It's going to be difficult to cast. Alright, we can have Vivian down right away. Vivian uh, isn't the best against small Teferi. So much already. I know you can still walk Man. away. <laughs> Don't want to put overgrown tomb, overgrown tomb, assassin's trophy down to the bottom. Right, I guess I guess we'll exile the assassin's trophy for good. I don't want to put those overgrown tombs down to the bottom. I want to draw those. Yeah, that could not have been a worse minus for us. I mean, I guess it could have been, but it could have been three black sources. That was really bad. There is wonder in a blade of grass.
Oh, yeah, we have Lana World with Flash. Yeah, I could have done that. Definitely should have done that. Sorry. Wait, you think nature is kind? All right, how are we going to win this game? And trophy deputy and get to... Land where elves back? Is that the first step? I'm not losing everything. W of detention has just been really, really good against us. Find a good creature. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Oh, I can't even cast you. My option with Spellbreaker. Ugh. Maybe we need Paradise Druid in here instead of Incubation Druid. To just help with the mana cost stuff. Paradise Druid does a little bit better attacking also. Yeah, I think killing the angel there was worth it because of, like, Seraph still just has, like, death touch and everything also. And, you know, we can't really get through <laughs> Seraph. You think nature is kind? Borderin, welcome back. Thanks for the tier one sub there, Borderin. That is sub number five on the day. I did the Chupacabra while they were tapped out in case that I didn't want to let them untap and have like an absorb or anything like that and counter the Chupacabra. Ha. Be in a I lot of trouble then. Worse.
We got it. Got to do something to help turn this race around. Yep, that's the plan. No, I wasn't using finality. I was going to be using find. Uh, the last turn, just attacking with Chupacabra, didn't make a lot of sense by itself. But this turn, we can attack with Chupacabra and Ripjaw Raptor. I think find is better for us than finality is. Well, they block Ripjaw Raptor, they're giving their Seraph Death Touch and killing the Ripjaw Raptor. They have some kind of incident in hand. They're just not playing. Mortify. All right, we're at 10. They're at 9. We both have 4 power on the battlefield. They get to draw and attack first. We have other things to play, though. Hopefully they draw land. That'd be nice. Not right on really speed. a land. No, I am not making this up as I go. It's <sighs> annoying. You just let me know if you're up for round two. We're not winning this race at all anymore. And that Teferi is just so good at slowing you down. I mean, so is Seraph of the Scales. You see how great Seraph of the Scales has been. And we've just drawn Mana Creature, Mana Creature last couple of turns. So dead card, dead card. Last three draws were dead cards. Their last three draws were not dead cards. And we were defeated. All right, two and two. All right, so our, our deck didn't seem very consistent, of course. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Paradise Druid would be better than Incubation Druid to help with the mana cost of the spells. Uh, I don't think that, like, the adapting the Incubation Druid into a 3-5 didn't seem super important in this deck. I think it's a kind of thing that's really important with, like, Hydroid Crisis. Didn't really seem too important in this deck. Um, we never got to attack with Ilharg at all. That's, like, the, the point of the deck, but... You know, other decks are really good, and they have a lot of interaction. We never got to do that. And uh, so our deck just kind of felt like we were playing a bunch of cards that weren't so good, like Flocka Worm, Tetsamok. Ripjaw wasn't fantastic. Um, we got pretty fortunate to win the Grixis match because of Ferox. You know, being able to play that for free off of a Nicol Bolas. I think we were real fortunate there, and we were real fortunate of beating the Phoenix deck for top decking the Cry of the Carnarium when we did. Both of our wins were, were like, real lucky. Uh, both of our losses we lost pretty bad. 
I don't know. I think no, well, just uh, our deck's just kind of expensive, and we have a lot of cards that just aren't don't matter too much. Like Elder Spell doesn't really matter ever. Masker Girl was pretty nice. That was an interesting one. This Domri doesn't matter. I don't know. We're just kind of too expensive with too many colors and not very much card advantage at all. If we would curve out um, and you know get to play an early Ilrog and get to attack with it, maybe with like a rhythm into an Ilrog kind of thing, if, if we have something like that, our deck's going to be pretty nice. But as we saw there with the entire league, we never even attacked with Ilrog. Uh, there's just so many other games where our deck's not going to really be doing its thing. And, you know, like the cur the perfect curve out. And then in those games, the, the inconsistencies of our deck really shine with the cards we're playing here. But all right, that's our deck. Still, two and two is not so bad. You know, so that's not the worst at all or anything. It's respectable for sure. All right, so uh, there we go. It's John Monsters. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit the subscribe button over there, and I will see you for another video.